I'm going to see how many property investment myths I can bust in just five minutes. Go. Okay. You can get started in property without any money. No, you can't. It's called property investment for a reason. You need to invest something. There are strategies where you can invest more time and less money, but you still need some money. Can you just use other people's money? Suppose so, but even that's much harder than it sounds. And do you really want to be starting and learning and making your mistakes with someone else's money? I'm not sure I would. Uh, next one. Uh, oh, my costs have gone up, so I'll increase the rent. No, not how it works. Um, if you were charging below the market rent, then yes, you could. But if you're charging market rent already, the market doesn't care that your costs have gone up. Landlords don't set rents. The, the market, supply and demand, sets rents. No one seems to understand this. Uh, next. Oh, I could never be a landlord because the phone would ring at two in the morning with someone with a block sink and I just couldn't be dealing with that stress. Okay, I'll admit, in my early days as a landlord, I had my fair share of out-of-hours calls, but it was all completely avoidable. So there are multiple ways of getting around this. So for example, you could use a letting agent and have no interaction with the tenants at all. Or you can just set expectations. So you can leave instructions saying, if this type of emergency happens, the, the power's out, there's a leak, whatever, here's what you do, and then tell me about it in the morning and I'll help you then. What are you going to do about it in the middle of the night anyway? So if you choose to take those calls, that's your choice, but it doesn't really help. How are we doing? Oh, God, that's a lot of time gone. Okay, um, next, you should buy your own home before you invest. Well, we've got a whole video about how I choose to rent the home that I live in. So we'll link to that in the description. Clearly, I don't believe it. There are some advantages to uh, buying your home before you start investing. Um, one of them being mortgages. You can get access to more mortgages if you're a homeowner. Seems a bit unfair in a way, but that's how it is. So there are definitely advantages, but you don't have to. Property is a great investment, but you don't have to live in your investments. Um, never invest in flats. Why? Why would you close yourself off to such a massive chunk of potential investments? I've got houses, I've got flats. They're both a pain in different ways, pretty much equally. You can have bad experiences with either. There are, of course, risks with flats. You lose some control, but then there are benefits in that you lose some control. There's less you have to do. And for me, it's all pretty much evened out. Um, next, you can get rich quick. Um, no, uh, more than 10 years in, still working on it. Property is really ill-suited to getting rich quick. Um, if you do want to get rich quick, I'm not convinced it's a great idea with anything. You know, most of the time it's not going to work or it'll blow up on you because getting rich quick is just pretty much not realistic. But if you want to, there are other methods that are more suited to it. Property is so poorly suited to it because you need so much money to get started. It's just, it's, there's so much risk. It's just not going to happen. It's brilliantly suited to getting rich slowly um, because property prices go up over time, because it allows you time to from mistakes to be recovered from, because the rent comes in every month. It is the perfect vehicle for getting rich slowly. It's great, but not for getting rich quick. How are we doing? Okay, under two minutes now. Um, property always goes up in value. No, it doesn't. Over the very long term, property does always go up in value, but that is over the long term. That's why you have to be approaching property as a long term thing, because there will be years, even many years in a row, when property doesn't go up in value. And that's normal. Why would any investment just go up all the time? It, it's because there's this myth and people think property goes up. There's this kind of panic when property isn't going up, but that's normal. And there are also parts of the country where property can fall and stay down for a long time. Look at Northern Ireland. So you've got to be intelligent about where you invest as well, because you're not just buying the average. Um, okay, only just over a minute left. Um, it's risky to buy off plan. Um, it doesn't have to be. Again, it's one of those things like, why close yourself off to a whole potential source of investment just because you've heard this myth, someone's told you something once and you believe it? No, there are great opportunities in buying off plan. There are also out and out scams in buying off plan. Um, the difference of avoiding one and benefiting from the other is doing your research. We've got a whole video about this again, which we'll link to down below. Okay, about 30 seconds left. Um, there's no money in property anymore. It's too late. Um, no, not the case. Um, again, property has been around for hundreds of years. I'm sure it'll be around for hundreds more years. This reminds me of when the person in the US patent office over 100 years ago said we have to shut it down. Everything's already been invented. You always think you're too late, but you're not. Um, 
you should always invest near where you live. Um, no, I invest away from where I live. It's fine. If you live in an area that's not good for investment, um, no, you don't have to. You can make it work. Property prices double every 10 years. No, they don't. Property investment takes up a lot of time. It doesn't have to. You should buy property with the highest yield you should find. No, capital growth is important. There we go. How many was that? I have no idea. <laughs> Stop that. I have no idea how many that was, but it felt like quite a lot. Do, do you disagree with any? Do you, do, were there other myths that you think we should have covered? Let me know. I'm going for a lie down.